What's going on guys, it's Mikael back with another video, and in today's video I'm back with more max level fire PvP. So yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys don't even know that I have this fire. I have made some videos on them, but those were posted like a long time ago, so like a lot of the newer people that subscribed to me probably don't know about them. But yeah, I, ha I do have a level 140 fire. He was 130 like a couple days ago, but I grinded him up to uh, level 140 because I wanted to do some PvP on him. I never like really got in the PvP, I never did any ranked, but I finally got the, uh, the duelist ring because... I didn't have that for the longest time, but yeah, now that I have everything, well, I don't have everything, I'm going to show you guys the gear, but I don't have everything, but I'm pretty close. Right now I have the Dragoon hat, the uh, Tennyson robe, Dragoon boots, the, oh, this is this is what I need to change. I want to get the, um, the level 138 wand, like the executive one, I'm pretty sure it's called. I really want to get that one. But it's so hard to farm for. It's not like it's not a hard boss fight. Like it's just a long boss fight. Like it takes like three minutes per not nah, more like five minutes per run just because of how long the boss's cheats are. And like it's never in the bazaar because like everyone knows about it now. But yeah, I mean that that one's way better. It's not way better than this one. It's like it's like a bit better. But like I still want to try it because I feel like that would be fun to try. And then the dragoon uh, dagger. And then the Shane Von Shane amulet, dual state double ring, uh, my triple double furnace pet. This pet's not bad. I copied it from my uh, my legendary fire, but I couldn't get brace the fire on it, so I just settled with this. I didn't really care that much for brace the fire, anyways. And then I don't even have any mounts. Uh, I have my one v one deck, my fiery paradox deck. I have whatever fire accuracy soccer on. And then here's my deck stuff. I don't really know much, like. I don't, I don't know what I really haven't done any ranked fire PvP ever. Like, I never had the duelist ring, so I just literally never did it. But yeah, now that I have it, I'm going to start doing it. But I don't know, my deck setup's not that good. I, I'm going to go for a trap stacking because I've heard that that's good. Like, I've seen people do videos on it, and it looks pretty nice. So yeah, here's my deck setup. I don't really know. Doesn't look horrible, but honestly, I don't know how to do fire PvP. Then here's my side deck. I do have minus 90 E-Feats in, but that's only because I've never done fire PvP before pvp before and i just don't want to be like completely horrible and i feel like if i don't have minus 90 feats i'm gonna be bad i do have one for my pet but like i want to have at least a couple more in case but yeah my side deck doesn't look that bad i have a bunch of unstoppables only because i don't have um solar surge yet because i haven't done any ranked but yeah my stats come up to a 169 damage 44 resist 36 accuracy uh 610 crit 37 pierce and 91 power pip chance okay i got a match we're going up against scarlet heart it looks like a life maybe from the stitch it's like a white stitch i don't really know they kind of have the same health as me though so it might be a fire oh okay it's a balance because they use the bubble so i guess i'm gonna just change the bubble right away doesn't really matter because like i didn't pull stun blocks anyway so her bubbling first round is actually pretty decent for us. Oh, and we got a furnace. Yeah, the furnace is only make house with my pet, so it has to be a furnace, but that's actually not even that bad. Okay, she changed bubble again, and what I realized is that she's a balance that she can just literally take off my aura. Honestly, I'm gonna just fuel. If she has an aura pop right now, like, that's good for her, but since decks are so clogged, she might actually not have one. So ho I hope she doesn't have one, but she might actually just have one. Okay, she probably does. She does, and she crit it. Bro, this is gonna do so much. 2k damage for free okay this is bad i completely forgot it was a balance um i'm gonna discard that shrike because i don't really need it right now i'm gonna pull for honestly i don't really have anything to do because i don't need the shield right now a bubble maybe would be nice i'll shield anyways just because i got it i didn't really want to pull there because i need to pull more of my fuels but like it's okay. Bro, we're getting cast like crazy. We don't need it. Please stop, pet. Please stop. She's just gonna pop it again. This is crazy. My pet is so stupid. I mean, it's not, I guess it's, I, it's my fault because I have furnace on my pet, but like, damn, she just got 3k damage off of four pips because I just don't have a, no, just because I have a furnace pet. That's actually crazy. She can't do much to me. She could stun into a shad, which wouldn't really be that smart. So yeah, I think I'm just going to fuel again, because if anything, I can fuel, like, shield, and then I can do some damage, maybe. I don't really know, though. Alright, she did go for set shields. I can just pierce that off, or I can go for stun blocks right now. I feel like keeping up the pressure is probably smarter, so I'm just going to pierce that off. 
because if I don't keep up the pressure and I just wait around the stun block, she could do some pretty decent damage to me. So yeah, I feel like just uh, taking that off of the pierce is pretty good. All right, now I think I'm gonna stun block. Shielding's probably good too, but like, I'm gonna get the stun blocks on now because I don't want her stunning me into something. Not like hitting me and then stunning me or something. That would be bad. Okay, we didn't get a furnace, which is good. Our pet's not that bad, but like. He's still pretty bad. <laughs> okay, she went for um, for a whatever, an elemental shield. I'm just gonna brimstone, I think. That's not even a bad move, because I'll still have enough for a vengeful e feed if anything. And yeah, I don't think she can kill me right now, so that'll get her, like, triple, uh, triple, uh, whatever, triple, uh, triple trapped. I don't know why that took me so long to realize what uh trap was but it's okay this is through two shields but we also have two traps let's see how much this does it's pierce enchanted but let's be honest yeah 600 that's doing nothing hopefully hopefully we can get a good hit with that uh with that brim uh trap she striked why would she strike i th think my ffa kills for sure it's triple yeah i could vengeful e free but like then I don't have pips to do anything, and I don't have single stuns in, because, like, I don't know. I probably should be carrying them, because I'm kind of low rank, so people probably don't stun block that much anyways. But I'm pretty sure this just kills, even without a crit. This is triple, uh, triple trapped. We crit anyways. This should just kill straight up. Like, without, without even having to worry. It's not, like, damage enchanted, but, like, it still has pierce enchant on it. So she can't have that much resist. Yeah, 10k. I feel like that killed without the crit. I think. Because she probably had decent, um, decent block. But yeah, I don't know why she strike there. That's really what lost to the match. She got pretty lucky with my pet going off at the start. Because she got a bunch of free damage. But yeah, her striking is what really, th uh, threw her the match. Okay, I got another match. We're going against Ashley Seaflower. I think it's a balance just from the pet. Because they're wearing a transformation, so I literally can't see. But I'm pretty sure it is a balance because of their pet. Alright, they used stun blocks first round, so I'm just going to discard my king art. That won't be useful. I'm going to discard my quench, because I'm pretty sure it's not a fire. I think it has to be a balance, because they have the flamenco pet. And that gives a veiling hand, so like... Honestly, if it's anything other than a balance, I don't know. Okay, they weaknessed me. I don't know how much that's going to affect me. I'm going to bubble, maybe? My pip did fail me, which is kind of which is kind of bad. But what I also realized, I literally realized that I don't have any of my wands hit, wand hits in, because I was using this uh, this deck for questing. I took them all out. I forgot to put them back in. That's a yikes. That's an actual yikes. Okay, she's just changing the bubble, I think. But it's really bad that I don't have wand hits in. I definitely have to change that once I get out of this match. But for this match, we don't have them. I'm gonna enchant that fuel. I'm gonna change the bubble right away too. Cause like, I don't want her having bubble control. I do have some bubbles in my side deck if she does continue to change the bubble, but I don't really want to pull for them right now. All right, my pips are so bad, but if I'm being honest, I kind of just want to FFA. If I pull an enchant, I might just do it. Cause it's open. Nah, I can't, I could. I didn't even pull it. I'm gonna just do it. I don't even care. My pips are so bad that like I don't want to keep my pips like this. Obviously, this is a really bad move. Well, I guess it's not that bad because it's open, but like she has a lot of pips right now. But I don't know what she could do because she doesn't have that. Like she doesn't have any shots. I don't think, right? I'm pretty sure she doesn't have a shot, so she can't do that much unless my pet uh, furnaces. If this was enchanted, this would have done a decent amount more. Like, that probably would have done 3k at least with a uh, pierce enchant. But it's alright, at least my pips are back. They're, I should be getting power pips again. I feel like once you start getting a couple of new pips, it just keeps on like a like a train. Like, you're gonna keep getting new pips. I don't know. It's weird. Oh, okay, she's going for a king art. She didn't crit. It's just a blade. She doesn't even have bubble. I mean, I don't have any wand hits, so that's my big problem. Like, if I had a wand hit, I'd be fine right now. That didn't even do anything to me, though. Like, I wish I had wand hits. I'm so bad. I can't believe I forgot them. Um, right now, I might as well... Well, no, I don't even really have to shield. Uh, I'll discard one of them. I want to keep my bubbles. We could fuel. I guess I'll just fuel. I don't... My pips are so low, though. 
I really shouldn't be fueling because I don't have that many pips. Hopefully we don't get a cast. Okay, good, because I don't want her having free damage from an aura pop right now. Okay, so yeah, she did change the bubble. I'm just going to change that right back because I do have my bubbles in hand. Okay, she did go for um for elemental shields. I'm going to discard that pierce for now that I know she does have them. I will just shield right now because she has enough uh, to go for like a shad hit on me if she wants. Plus, she has that pierce blade. So getting an open uh, shad on me wouldn't be good right now. Okay, she went for a minion. Honestly, that made me realize that I don't have any minion killers. Yeah, my deck is pretty bad. I don't really do max PvP, so that's probably a main reason why. But I'm gonna, uh, Furnace again. Oh, no, not Furnace. I'm gonna Fuel again. I don't know if that's that great of a move, because I'm still really low on pips, but... I feel like th a triple, uh, triple traps right now. If I use, like, a Brim, because I need to take off this, uh her shield and this man, uh, weakness. So I need to pull Brim soon. Why is she weakness me again? She's, she has a shield and she already had that uh, minus 45. All right, I'm kind of confused. I shouldn't need another fuel. I'm gonna pull for just a regular shield maybe. Honestly, I'm not gonna pull it. Uh, I'll just pass. I don't really have much to do f no i got a furnace i mean i guess it's not horrible well no because it she'll just all she has to do is really just pop me right now and then she gets rid of my blade too and she just gets some free damage so that's not that great she went for a mana burn i only have three pips okay i'm confused like and her minion just passed okay i'm confused um i guess i'm gonna have to go for a tower right now i need a tower uh, I definitely need a tower, okay, because she could just pop me easily and get rid of my furnace, and I don't want her getting, like, a free 2k damage like that last person did, so I have to shield right there. Bro, she went for set shields. All I need to pull is my brim. She has, she has so many debuffs on me, but I can take all of them off in one brim. Okay, I need to pull my brim for sure. Honestly... I don't have much to do this round. I want to keep that strike though because I don't think I... No, I think I have one more actually. So I probably could have discarded it. But bruh, I still didn't pull it. That's not good. Bro, why... She, is, does she have Spell Mental Scorpion? I don't know if I can tell before it... Okay, no. She doesn't have Spell Mental Scorpion. So honestly, okay. Hear me out. Hear me out. Oh, no. Her minion shielded. Okay, I don't know if I kill now. I wanted to split a Scimitar. You know? It's definitely not a... It's not a great move, but I'm a private. It, at least it makes me look like I'm a private. I want to actually kind of go for a scion, but like. Oh wait, no, shoot, man, I didn't even, man, I'm so stupid. I didn't even split it. Bro, this is the stupidest, okay. If I don't lose this match, I don't know what happens. Like, I don't know what happens if, uh, if I actually don't lose. She should definitely win this. I've made so many misplays, like at this point. I literally need a brim. I mean, at least I get another, um, I do get another, uh, shad pip kind of soon, but, like, a brim would have been way better, because I would have had triple, uh, trap still, and it would have been, uh, and I wouldn't have had to waste that shad. So, you know, that's only doing 300, too. This is really bad. Do I, oh, I do get my shad now. So if she goes for a shad on me, I can literally just FFA, so... I don't she probably is gonna shield. Wait, she didn't shield. Unless she mana burned, I think I can win. Oh, she's supernova. Bro, I'm just gonna FFA. I kill. There's no way, right? Triple buffed with the bubble, the two traps. Bro, no, if I fizzle this, it's pierce enchanted. It's pierce enchanted. I have 36 accuracy, 36 accuracy. So literally, I have a 9% chance. I, yeah, 9% chance of fizzling this. If I fizzle, it's just stupid. Okay, I didn't fizzle. Good, 9%. Imagine if I fizzled that, I would have been mad. There's no way I don't uh, kill, though, I don't think. Because it's triple buffed. The bubble and two traps. Like, how did I not lose this? And I got the crit. Let's see. I'm just going to make sure before I start getting, like, before I start going crazy. Because I don't know how I won this. There's no way. Damn. That's kind of crazy. I, I literally skimitard her through like four debuffs four debuffs i wasted my shad and everything 
that she definitely misplayed back there when she uh she did she definitely should have shielded instead of going for a supernova i know what she wanted to do she wanted to get damage but like i definitely killed with the triple buff so i don't know what she was really doing so yeah i'm just gonna end the video off here obviously you guys can see that i'm not that great at max level pvp but i mean the people i went against i mean there were two balances balances is actually pretty nice at max and especially against fires that my furnace pet literally goes off i don't know like my pet just goes off it's actually crazy i like this pet when it's not against the balance like that would be nice if i went against something that wasn't a balance but i mean they didn't really know how to play so i guess it wasn't that bad but yeah if you guys enjoyed max fire pvp let me know i also have my life at max i think i already said that in my last video but i realized that i don't have enough to make my uh my fame because i need a i think i need a bit more salt my balance is also 134 the only I was questing my fire and my balance together, but my fire was still in Imperia, so he got the level 140 way before my balance. But I'm also gonna get my balance up pretty soon because I want to do max PvP on him. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.